Good morning. Today we come to the seventh church, the saddest of all the churches, the church of Laodicea. Why was it the saddest of the churches? Well, in the word itself means Laos, the people, Decea, the people rule. The people of this church had decided for themselves what they were going to believe. The people of this church had decided for themselves what they were going to do. And Jesus is very angry with this church. And it's sad as well because this church probably represents the last of these phases of the church throughout the centuries. It represents our church. Jesus says, because of what you're like and because of what you're doing, I challenge you. Think again. Think again. You know, I've got a feeling that this COVID epidemic has been allowed, no, it wasn't created, but allowed by God to stop us in our tracks. The whole of Western civilization, stop us in our tracks and make us think again about what we're doing. For some time now, we've become a proud people. A people have decided, well, I don't believe this, or I do believe that, or I accept this, or I don't accept that. You know, at the last census, people were asked, if they had any religious affiliation. And the number of different things people put in amazed the census takers. They were this, they were that, they were the other. Each person seems to have their own religion. Each person thinks they can do it for themselves. Each person says, quite simply, I believe. And as part of our society almost, we want to say, each person is quite capable, as long as you're not hurting other people. Each person is quite capable of deciding for themselves what is right and what is wrong. The people decide. Jesus looks at this church of Laodicea. He says, I want you to refine what you're doing. Bring it and smelt it. Refine pure gold. Find out what it is that I want. Find out it is what it is that God wants. Not what it's popular to believe at the present day. Find out what I want from you. The people of this particular city, well, they were known, they had great flocks of sheep and they had a very rich black wool. He says, make yourself white vestments. Clean your vestments. Get rid of the muck that is in your lives and in society. Look again at what I'm doing. Look again at what I'm saying to you. Listen again to what I require of you. The people in this city, they had special, they were known for a special ointment which they were producing, which was good for the eyes. He said, now get my ointment for your eyes that you may truly be open your eyes and you may truly be able to see the truth. The people of this city, they had a particular water supply. It came from a hot spring some way away. By the time it reached the city, it was no longer hot, it was just lukewarm. And Jesus says to the city, Oh, how I wish you were either hot or cold, but you're just like this lukewarm water coming from this spring. Because you're not hot or cold. And this was a terrible thing. He said, I will spit you out of my mouth. What a terrible thing to say. And yet even in this city, there are people still who struggle to know and want to do it God's way. And in the end, you know, when John enters the place of heaven, he sees all seven lamps there for all seven churches. Because in each of the churches, there are people who are long to do it God's way. Now, I want to leave you with a challenge this morning. Over the next four days, I'm going to be putting out basic teaching of the Christian church. And I want you to think and perhaps send these little messages to all the people that you've got in your WhatsApp thing. Just forward it. Just tap it in and say forward and just touch the people you know and send it to them. Become an evangelizing church. If you're receiving it by email, 
then because it's a large uh, file, you may have to send it through something like WeTransfer. But decide who you want to send it to. And over the next four days, send them on each day. You will be carrying out God's purpose for your life. The seven churches, you will truly be the people that God can use at this time to bless people between now and the great Feast of Pentecost. Amen.